Today I'm going to talk about how to set up vacation and sick time tracking in the payroll module of Sage 50 US edition, formerly Peachtree. I'll be using version 2014 in this example, but it should be similar in, in other recent versions. The basic idea uh, to get started is that you'll use the payroll settings wizard to set up the payroll fields and formulas that you need and to set up your company-wide policies then you can go into maintain employees to make any settings specific to each individual employees like if you want to adjust how much time they accrue or something like that then if the employees already have balances at the time you start tracking it in in Sage 50 then you'll need to enter their beginning balances and finally after that you'll be ready to start start using it in payroll so we'll start by going to the maintain menu default information and payroll settings or if you prefer you can go to the employees and payroll tab payroll setup and choose payroll settings from there once you get to the payroll settings window you'll click on benefits and then vacation and you'll see sick time is in here also I'm just gonna go through vacation because the screens look the same um, so if you know how to set up vacation then you'll know how to set up sick time also so I'll click on vacation and the first option here is what we want our vacation settings to be based on most people are going to leave it set to the answers to the questions below you would only set it to my own formula if you want to create a custom formula um, an example of that might be if you want to accrue vacation time based on hours worked instead of just a, a fixed amount per pay period um, if you need if you want to do that you can look in help uh, and uh, search for the word formulas to get some tips on how to write your own formulas or of course you can always contact a Sage 50 solution provider like me to help you with that also the next setting is employees are given this many vacation hours per year uh, when you set that here that will apply to every employee on your payroll unless you make a different setting specifically for that that employee if employees do not um, do not get vacation when they first start you may want to set that to zero and then you can change it in each employee's record when they when they become eligible and the next choice here is employees receive these hours at the beginning of the calendar year or accrued over each pay period at the beginning of the calendar year is basically a lump sum method they're gonna get all of these hours um, at the beginning of the year and notice it says the calendar year there's no option here to track it based on your company's fiscal year or on an employee's anniversary um, so that may be a limitation for some people we'll leave it set at accrued over each pay period for now when you choose this setting it looks at uh, how many pay periods that employee has in a year divides their total vacation hours by the number of pay periods to uh, to get the number the, the number of hours they accrue in a single pay period next question is does the remaining time carry over to the next year pretty straightforward yes or no but again remember that that is based strictly on a calendar year that's the only option and then the maximum number of vacation hours an employee can have at any time that mostly uh, applies to people who are who allow vacation time to be carried over from year to year presumably you'd be smart enough to not give an employee more hours than they can have using a lump sum method and you can just leave that at zero or, or blank if you don't have a, a maximum so then you could click next if you want to go on to sick time we'll click finish then we'll go to maintain employees and we'll just bring up our first employee we'll go to the vacation and sick time and we'll say that this employee has been here a while so instead of getting 80 hours or two weeks of vacation per year she gets 120 hours so that's how you can make changes to individual employees um, that don't follow the the company-wide policy uh, so let's save that and we'll go back to the general tab here and this is where we can set up beginning balances if employees already have balances at the time you start tracking vacation and sick 
in Sage 50. So you'll click on that button. You can choose an employee right there. At the top, you'll put the the date. This will be the the date at which you started tracking vacation or sick time. So we'll just say it was January 31st, 2014, since that's when our the year that our sample company is in. Then we would come down here to vacation remaining, and we'll say that she had 20 hours at that time. If you wanted to, you could also fill in an accrued and taken amount, but the remaining is all that will really be necessary for the calculations to work right. So I'll save that, and then you could go through each employee and set up their balances. We'll close that and save her changes. Now you'd be ready to to do payroll and uh, and track vacation and sick pay. So we'll go into payroll entry and we'll choose our employee that we set up. And the only thing that you have to do differently is that here, vacation taken, um, if, the vaca if the employee has taken vacation on this check, you can put in the number of hours that they took. Let's say she took eight hours or one day of vacation. And now this is only tracking hours that have been accrued, taken, and remaining. It doesn't actually pay them for those hours. You'll still pay them over here in with their regular hours. If you want to, you could set up a separate pay type for vacation pay or sick pay. Um, but let's preview this check so you can see what it looks like on the stub. So you can see here you've got the vacation accrued, taken, and the net remaining for this check. Then over here you can see that she has 25.86 hours uh, remaining in total. And since we didn't put in the year to date or the beginning balances for accrued and taken, these don't completely add up, but that, uh, that remaining amount is still correct. So that's all there is to setting up vacation and, and sick pay in Sage 50, and I hope you find that helpful.